The scene begins with Rentero sharing his story with a utility pole about his stroke of luck in getting a girlfriend. His dream of going to school with his girlfriend is about to come true, especially with two girls at the same time. Hakari greets Rentero with her sweet smile. Karane, on the other hand, looks surprised to see Rentero talking to a utility pole. Rentero greets both of them, and Karana questions why Rentero is doing something foolish. Rentero, feeling embarrassed, explains that he's too excited because he finally has a girlfriend. He approaches both girls to invite them to go to school together. Hakari eagerly takes his hand and comments on the nice weather. It's the first time Rentero touches a girl's hand. Hakari's smooth, soft, and warm hand makes Rentero's soul squirm as if it wants to escape from his body. Similarly, Hakari feels Rentero's large and muscular hand, indicating that he's a guy who enjoys holding hands with his girlfriend. She floats in Rentero's grasp, making him say something off-topic about the beautiful, strong, and handsome weather. Not forgetting, Rentero also holds Karana's hand and invites them to walk together. Karana is surprised, but because she is the shy type, she says she's not interested in holding hands. Rentero refers to her as not just a shy cat anymore, but a shy electric shock. Walking hand in hand with girls on the way to school is the happiest moment in Rentero's life. He expresses his love to the girls, but only Hakari responds with words of love. Karana diverts the topic to the nice weather. Rentero mentions the last names of the two girls, as he has been calling Hakari, Harizono, and Karane, Inda. Upon hearing this, Hakari stops and asks Rentero to call her by her first name, not her family name. Rentero agrees, and when he calls Hakari by her name, she blushes. Karane calls Rentero, and Rentero mentions her name. The three of them continue to mention names all the way until they enter the school. Students who hear them think they are taking attendance. Suddenly, a student is seen running fast, chased by someone who turns out to be the vice principal's mother, shouting for forgiveness. The vice principal's mother is very strict about school rules. So if a student runs in the school corridor, they will be chased everywhere, and when caught, they will be kissed thoroughly, a kind of severe mental punishment. The vice principal's mother is a former athlete, so no one can escape her kisses. Students call her the speedy witch grandma. Discussing kisses, Hakari asks if Rentaro has ever kissed. Rentaro replies that he hasn't, and they are each other's first boyfriend and girlfriend. This means that between Hakari and Karane, the one who kisses him first will be Rentaro's first kiss. Hakari and Karane will compete to get Rentaro's first kiss. During the school break, the three of them sat at the edge of the field. As it was early in the school year and the weather was cold, the field appeared deserted. Hakari opened her lunchbox and proudly displayed the omelette she made. She then asked Rentero to open his mouth and promptly fed him a bite. Rentero praised Hakari's cooking as the tastiest in the universe. Not to be outdone, Karanet offered her homemade cookies, asking Rentero to open his mouth. However, due to her lack of caution, she accidentally fed Rentero's eye. Rentero tasted the cookies and declared them the tastiest in the entire universe, frustrating Karane as she questioned how many universes existed in Rentero's head. Hikari brought out Baki snacks, purposely opening it upside down to reveal the chocolate part. Claiming she didn't want to dirty her hands, she fed Rentero using her lips. She bit one end of the Baki and gave the other end to Rentero's lips. As they chewed, their faces got closer, a trick Hikari used to attempt to get Rentero's first kiss. Seeing this, Karane didn't want to be outdone. She took a baki and did the same thing as Hakari, but unfortunately, she accidentally jabbed it into Rentero's eye. Karana's long hair touched Rentero's nose, making him sneeze. Their baki snapped, and their plan failed miserably. Seeing Rentero's red eyes, Karana suggested spreading his virus to her mouth to heal quickly. Although it was just superstition, Rentero called Karane the main attacker girl. Karane pulled Rentero's head closer to hers sensing his face, getting closer and ready to receive the kiss. However, Hakari intervened with her ample chest, causing Karani to fall. Shocked, Karane felt the soft and firm texture of Hakari's chest. Hakari suggested measuring Rentero's body temperature, not only through the forehead, but also through the lips, claiming it's a family tradition. Rentero argued that not even in nightclubs was there a culture of measuring temperature like that. As Rentero and Hakari's faces got closer, Karana managed to separate them. 
She pushed Rentero, causing him to fall, and then she pinned him down, pretending he fainted so she could perform artificial respiration. Rentero exclaimed that their logic was already broken. Hakari arrived and punched Karane with her chest, making Karane fall. Rentero got up and calmed them both down. Rentero understood that they were both trying to get his kiss. He appreciated their efforts to kiss him, finding it very sweet. The only problem was deciding who deserved his first kiss. Rentaro anticipated this would happen, and he had already thought of a way the night before. He even conducted a simulation. Basically, they shouldn't know who would get the first kiss. The method was that both of them would stand using blindfolds while listening to loud music through earphones. Their standing positions would be determined by a roll of the dice, with the taller one standing on the right. Rentaro himself wouldn't know their positions since he used a blindfold and had the music player. After determining the positions, Rentaro received a signal from his music player. The one who gets the kiss must adjust the volume louder. Rentaro had to roll the dice to decide where he would walk. If the dice showed an even number, he would walk to the left. After kissing both of them, Rentaro would walk back to the original spot, and they would shuffle their positions according to another dice roll. Once done, they would remove the blindfold and the music player. What remained would be the sweet memories of the first kiss with their loved ones. Rentero's plan was as extraordinary as playing the liar game. Karana interrupted, saying there might be cheating in this game with the blindfold. However, Rentero suggested that everyone make a pinky promise not to cheat and agreed that anyone who broke the promise would have to drink a thousand needles. It's actually a childish game, but because it was a promise, it had to be kept. And so, the promise was made together. The game began and Rentaro rolled the dice, getting an even number. He chose to go to the left because his eyes were covered, making him unsure of the exact distance and position of his girlfriend's faces. To avoid collisions, he started by touching the shoulder, but his hand accidentally squeezed a large breast and Rentero immediately knew the girl in front of him was Hikari. To show respect to Karene, he repeated the process. Hikari looked embarrassed due to Rentero's recent actions. With blushing faces, they invited Karene to repeat the process. While Rentero was walking toward them, a mesmerized cat observed Karene's skirt fluttering in the wind. The cat jumped at Karene and played with the ribbon that was on her underwear. The cat repeatedly touched Karene, she reflexively kicked and said Rentero was a pervert. The kick hit Rentero, he screamed in pain. Rentero fell and Karene beat him after removing the blindfold. Karene then found out that it was the work of the wild cat. The game had to be restarted and Hikari saw Rentero's battered face. They repeated it again but failed many times. This plan never worked, and both Hikari and Karene blamed each other. Rentero begged them to stop fighting, he didn't expect the first kiss to make his two girlfriends fight, it was all because he was inexperienced in love. Rentoro, who was desperate, ran towards the corridor and called the deputy principal's mother. Hearing that, the deputy principal smiled, she ran after Rentoro. Hakari and Karana chase him. They didn't want Rentoro to be kissed by the old lady. The former athlete's old lady ran very fast, she was very excited to give Rentero a love whip as punishment. He managed to catch Rentero, pinned him down and prepared to give him his love whip. Karana swiftly strangled her to protect Rentero from his crazy punishment. Hakari opened the corridor window and called out to Mr. Committee to report the harassment of the deputy principal. The old lady let go of Rentero and got up away from them. She didn't want to lose her job because she had to save money to be able to kiss handsome men in nightclubs. Hakari and Karane approached Rentaro, questioning why he acted this way. Rentaro loves both of them, it might seem selfish, but he only wants them to be close. His first kiss caused them to argue, so he decided to discard his first kiss into the mud puddle. Unanimously, they responded that rather than having Rentaro's first kiss taken by the mud puddle, they would prefer to be stolen 110 times by her pointing to each other. They discovered that they both love Rentaro. Hearing this, Rentaro was overjoyed, and he hugged them tightly. Rentaro proposed a solution for his first kiss predicament. He suggested a three-way kiss. This way, they wouldn't just be kissing Rentaro, but Hakari and Karene would also share a kiss. Rentaro reassured them that they could do it. 
Hakari and Karine were stunned at Rentero's crazy idea. Rentero held one hand of Hakari and Karine each. With their other hands, Hakari and Karine held each other. They closed their eyes, leaned in, and with a slight parting of their lips, the three-way kiss happened beautifully in the late afternoon. Their positioning resembled a picture inviting UFOs on the school rooftop. The next day, the three of them went to the library together. Hikari wanted to find a cookbook. Rentero loved the omelet she made yesterday, so she wanted to cook another dish for him. Similarly, Karane, not wanting to be outdone, also wanted to try cooking for Rentero. However, Karana always said it shyly. She didn't want to appear to like Rentaro, even though, in reality, she was very fond of him. Hakari and Karana read cookbooks together, even though they seemed not to get along at first, they became close since that kiss. Rentero went to the adjacent bookshelf, looking for a book he might read. Suddenly, his eyes were drawn to the books in front of him, a book about love. Quickly, he reached for the book that piqued his interest, but accidentally touched the hand of a small, purple-haired girl trying to reach for the same book. Their eyes met unintentionally, sending a strange sensation coursing through their bodies. Could this girl also be Rentero's destiny? Stay tuned for the next episode.